Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here, this question is asking the input resistance R i of the amplifier shown in the figure is what? Here we have the input resistance that is R i, and if we say this is node a, node a, and the bottom part is ground, this is actually the effective resistance in between node a and the ground. Okay, let's put the ground clearly. Okay, node a and the ground. Now let's see how we can find it. First of all, we have to know whether this is an ideal op amplifier or non-ideal op amplifier. Since they haven't mentioned anything in the question, we assume this is an ideal op amplifier and we are going to look at the characteristics. And for an ideal op amplifier, the voltage gain is equal to infinity. And voltage gain also can be equalized as V output divided by the voltage input difference. And uh, if this is true, then from this one, we know that V input difference is going to be voltage output divided by infinity. That's going to be equal to zero, right? So voltage input difference is equal to zero. Voltage input difference is basically voltage across the positive terminal minus voltage across the negative terminal. And we found out that is equal to zero. Therefore, voltage across the positive terminal is equal to voltage across the negative terminal. If this is true, then if here we know that voltage across the positive terminal is so equal to zero voltage because that is connected to the ground. So since this is zero voltage, this is also going to be zero voltage according to the according to the ideal of amplifier characteristics. This is also zero voltage, and we seen that R I the resistance effective resistance R A is the effective resistance in between node A and uh, ground. Since we know this is also ground, right? Since we according to the ideal op amplifier characteristics, this is also ground. Like this is also zero voltage, so between the res effective resistance between node A and the ground is 10 kilo ohm. That's going to be the final answer. So finally, we can say this is equal to 10 kilo ohm, and that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.